All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to calculate a very cute determinant that is also somehow useful in finding eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Namely, suppose A is the following matrix. It's kind of weird because the way the matrix is defined, on the diagonals it's zero, except the last term which is a n minus one. Below the diagonal, everything is minus one. And on the last column, we just have arbitrary real numbers. So where if you want a i are scalars. And the question is not to calculate the determinant of that, but the determinant of a plus t i. So let's calculate a plus t i, which is just t, t, everything here is a t, and minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, bunch of minus 1s up to here. Sorry, uh, there's a minus 1 here below. And if you want, a n minus 1 plus t. And this is a 0, a 1, up to a n minus 2. And the way to do this is hard to motivate directly, but let's do an induction argument, and it's very neat. So here's the claim. In fact, even though this is quite an ugly determinant, in the end we get a very nice result. I'm claiming that the determinant of A plus Ti, it's simply the following. It's T to the n plus A0 plus A1T plus dot 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 plus a n minus 1 t to the n minus 1. In other words, it's almost like the matrix uh, whose polynomial is a0 plus a1 t plus a n minus 1 t n minus 1, except the last one isn't a n t, but just t to the n. And well, let's prove this by induction. Induction on M, so so let P N be the proposition that this is true whenever A has this form. Let's do it for let's say N equals two. So let P N be the prop. Da, da, da. Then let's do the base case. So, for n equals 2, the matrix looks like that. So, a plus ti, it's simply, again, there's just one t here, I guess one t here, and then uh, there's a minus 1 on the diagonal, and then we have a naught, and then a1 plus t. Because a n minus 1 becomes a1, and then ex expand it with character, sorry, to the 2 by 2 determinant, so t times a1 plus t plus a0, expand it out and you get t squared plus a1t plus a0, which is exactly the same thing as a0 plus a1t plus t squared. And that's just what we want. We want sort of a tail being a0 and then a1t up to a n minus 1 t n minus 1 plus t to the n, which here is good. So the base case is shown, and now let's do the inductive step. So suppose pn minus 1 is true. So suppose it is true for all smaller determinant, and then show pn is true. All right, and then let me see what's the best way of explaining this, but yeah, how about we just expand it along the first row. So uh, A plus Ti, again, I'd like to remind you, is just a bunch of Ts. It's such a Ts, but <laughs> anyway. Ts of minus one, A naught, A n minus two, and A n minus one plus T. And expand it out here. 
So okay, I, maybe I didn't mention it enough, but everything else is zero. And then, so expand it out and you get that. The first row, you do it this way, and what you get is, so t, because the first factor is t, times the determinant of the rest, which is just another mini determinant. This is why it works. So t up to a1, and then again minus 1 if you want, um, minus 1 and a bunch of t's, minus 1, a n minus 2, a n minus 1, plus t. And bunch of zeros plus, so the sign here, it's minus 1 to the first row plus nth column, 1 plus n, a naught, and then a much easier determinant because the only thing that's left, it's this bunch of minus 1s and t's and everything. So we have minus 1 and then minus 1, I think, so maybe minus 1 and t minus 1, up to, uh, I mean, there's nothing really left, but um, there's a, a, what's called, a, just t and minus 1. Which is good, because at the end we want to a naught. And then, now, as I said, notice this is like a miniature version of our original determinant, except uh, the only issue is it starts at 1 and it ends at n minus 1. Just, but we can just modify this by letting b naught. It's just uh, a, uh, a b naught is a1 up to b n minus 2. It's a n minus 2. Uh, sorry, b n minus 2 is a n minus 1. So really you get the determinant of so t times bunch of t's minus 1, minus 1, and then b naught, b1, up to uh, bn minus 2, plus t. That's on the one hand. On the other hand, we have, this is minus 1 to the 1 plus n, and notice this is upper triangular, so the determinant is just a product of the diagonal entries. How many are there? Well, this is a n minus 1 times n minus 1 matrix. So minus 1 to the n minus 1. So plus a naught minus 1 to the 1 plus n. And then minus 1 to the n minus 1. All right. Now we are ready to apply the induction hypothesis. And we get what is this determinant? Well, it's simply the same thing above but with b naught, b naught plus b one t plus dot 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 plus b n minus two uh, t n minus two uh, plus t n minus one. So that's the induction hypothesis, but with n minus one. And what about here? Well, the ones cancel out, and we get a naught times minus one to the two n. This one being one. And then expand this out, so b naught t plus b1 t squared plus dot 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 plus b n minus 2 t n minus 1 plus t to the n plus a naught. And now I'd like to remind you what is b naught, it's just a1. So in the end, if we re rearrange this, we get a naught plus a1 t plus a 2 t squared plus dot 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 plus a n minus 1 t to the n minus 1 plus t to the n which is precisely what we wanted to show and therefore that which has been proven QED. All right and I just want to say there is a very neat application of this so let me uh, show this as well um, Pause it if you still want to write it down. Um, now the question.
question is, why did I write the term of A plus Ti? Because it relates to what's called the characteristic polynomial. So what if we want determinant of A minus Ti? Which is, if you want, the characteristic polynomial of just a matrix, bunch of zeros, minus 1, and uh, A naught up to A n minus 1. Well, it turns out we can literally use the same result, so we don't need to redo the proof. And we get that, well, look, determinant of A minus Ti. That's determinant of A plus minus Ti, which is just the same thing, but with minus T instead of T. A naught plus A1 minus T plus a2 minus t squared plus dot 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 plus a n minus 1 minus t to the n minus 1 plus minus t to the n and you can just get it as a naught minus if you want so plus if you want minus 1 a1 t plus minus 1 squared a2 t squared plus dot 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 plus uh, minus 1 to the n minus 1, a n minus 1, t to the n minus 1, plus minus 1 to the n, t to the n. So in other words, for this matrix, even though it looks really complicated, the characteristic equation is actually very easy to calculate. And you may say, why in the world is that useful? Well, there's another video I've shown on the Cayley Hamilton theorem where this is actually very crucial to calculate. Um, all right, I hope you like this little determinant extravaganza. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.